Jesus explains the three big questions. Matthew 24, 3. When shall these things happen? The temple being destroyed. What shall be the sign of your coming? And of the end of the world. Narrated by Daniel. The Jesus Explains video series is based upon personal notes compiled over many years. Answers received in questions asked in prayer, mostly concerning aspects of end time prophecy. Now the aim is to share those answers with others in a still small voice, something like how Jesus speaks softly to the chambers of our mind. Jesus doesn't need to speak to us with the vibrations of an audible voice. He promises to establish our thoughts when we are truly seeking his will above our own. Those thoughts are the voice of the Lord when we put our thoughts aside. After I had prophesied that the temple would be destroyed, my disciples came to me privately and asked me three questions. When shall the temple be destroyed? What shall be the sign of my coming? When shall be the end of the world? I did not say nor imply the end of the age as some modern Bible versions and reference books present. I specifically said and meant the end of the world that is reserved unto fire to be burned up after my millennial reign upon earth at the end of the thousand year day of the Lord. The answers I gave are written for all to read. For what I said, I said to all, both Jew and Gentile. My answers are recorded in three different Gospels concerning these matters. Now I shall answer each question in order. When shall the temple be destroyed? It is now a fact of history that the temple was destroyed in 70 AD with not one stone being left upon another exactly as I had prophesied. What shall be the sign of my coming? Concerning my coming, I spoke about many signs to watch for. I said that you shall hear of wars and rumours of wars, with nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And I spoke of earthquakes and famines and pestilences. Today you not only hear of these things, but you see these things more readily on your modern devices. But I said not to be troubled, that the end is not yet. I said that when the gospel is preached in all the world, then shall the end come. This prophecy shall be fulfilled when the first of three herald angels preaches the gospel for all the world to hear in their own language. Then the end shall come. I said not to be troubled, for whatever happens, if you believe that I died and rose again from the dead, and you have received me as your Saviour, you shall be resurrected and caught up to be with me on the last day, as I have promised. And if you are born again, you already have the seal of God, the seal of redemption. 
and you have the protection from the plagues to come. After I had spoken of wars and rumours of wars and of earthquakes and pestilences, I then spoke more specifically concerning the sign of my coming. Beginning in Matthew 24:15, I spoke more specifically about the very last days, about the time of the end. I said that when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, the soon to be built third Jewish temple, then shall be great tribulation, a time of great trouble on earth like the world has never seen before, nor shall ever see again. A time when the Antichrist shall sit in the temple of God as God and above all that is called God. This is the sign my coming is near. I then concluded the matter by saying, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. These things happen at the time of the rapture. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The sign of my coming is the sign of my coming. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Every eye is going to see the rapture. When I shall raise all that believe on me on the last day. And I shall send my angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together my elect from the four winds, from the four directions on earth, to take them from earth's end of heaven to the other end for the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage supper of the Lamb shall be for thirty days, while the vials of God's wrath are poured out upon earth with the sixth vial drying the river Euphrates to prepare the way for the battle of Armageddon to follow. Then immediately after the marriage supper of the Lamb, I shall mount up upon a white horse, and the armies of heaven shall mount up upon white horses, to return to earth to cut short those days of great trouble and to save the remnant of Israel at the 45-day Battle of Armageddon. When shall be the end of the world? In Matthew 13:39, I said the harvest is the end of the world. I was specifically speaking about the harvest of souls at the end of my thousand year reign on earth. The harvest is when I shall send my angels to gather the tares to bind them to be burned and the wheat shall be gathered into the barn, heaven. The end of the world happens at the time of the harvest. The time when the earth and the heavens, atmospheres, and the works therein shall be burned up. This is when the new heavens atmospheres and the new earth shall be created 
made from the same elements that now form the present earth. This is when the holy city, New Jerusalem, shall come down to earth and God will dwell with men. Now allow me to illustrate. Matthew 24, 3 when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world? In closing, allow me to stress how important it is to study from the correctly worded translation of my word. Coming next. Jesus explains the battle of Gog and Magog. Who is Gog? What is Magog? When is the battle of Gog and Magog? Know the future in advance. Subscribe, like, and share this channel. Thank you, and God bless.